If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Put that thing away. You'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. I thought Dimitri did that. I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. <sighs> You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic Shagohan pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. The tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fool's in charge. Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? Story time. The Philosopher's Legacy. Haven't you heard of the Philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Rolgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, 
somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohad project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the Great Fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohad is there, too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. <laughs> You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh... This key open that door beyond that door lies the vast jungle you can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle go back to the warehouse use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains got it I think if you went near the lock door, it changes the dialogue a bit. Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero. Of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. Awesome sauce. Capitalism! Uh, right. To socialism. Yeah, drunkard. Anyways, that's the end of those cutscenes. So if we kind of get out of the cutscenes here. There we go. This thing's going to kind of walk out. You head back. I have nothing more to say to you. Damn straight. He'll say, like, funny little... Crocs of stuff. No face paint, uniform. Uh, scientists. Alright, it can be a bit difficult, probably a little harder to get out of here than it is to get in. Oh, 
mostly just this first area. I'll get a bit suspicious. That guy can be a real pain in the butt. Yeah, that can really make that. That guy can, like, be in front of you, and if you open the door and he sees you, he can set off the alarm, which can be really annoying. Out of my way. Hey, you have an AK. What are you guarding? Uh, you can exit through the front door like last time. But uh, there's something else I want to get. It's a lot lighter in here, too. Light doesn't seem to affect the camo index in this game. It does in the next game. It, it varies the camo index slightly depending on if you're hiding in a shadow or in direct light. Hey, how's it going? If you go through here, there's a few items we can pick up, such as the Naughty Magazine. This is just the courtyard that leads into the area that has the uh, face painting where you come out. But uh, I'm more interested over here. I mean, this is probably all the stamina stuff we're going to need for the rest of the game. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Hold on. Get out of my way. Stupid door. Let's go through here. Get the Mark 22 suppressor. Watch out. There's a spider on the wall right there that will poison you. But actually, what we want, I think, is in here. Yeah. Uniform fly. Super fly? No, not quite. Uh, where is it? Fly? There it is. It basically makes you stink, and enemies won't get near you, avoiding. Uh, there you go, there's a bunch of flies flying around me. It means you stink, and enemies won't go near you. That's all that means. Alright, so let's. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Close that. Some bolts. There we go. But I don't need them. Alright, let's head out of here. I'm gonna try to make this quick as possible. This is the upper catwalk. Thought there's supposed to be something up here, but I guess not. We jump down. A few items we can get. Come on. Let's go through the wall. Through the wall. Okay. 
One thing that's really weird is when you're inside the uh, oh, inside the grass, you can actually sidestep left or right. I would not suggest moving this fast while on hard. They'll probably see you. You'll probably see me right now, but. Not really too concerned to be honest. Let's go.